Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston, and today we're gonna talk about um, how I write code faster with Visual Studio Code. Uh, Visual Studio Code is one of the most amazing code editors that I've ever used and has ever graced um, one of my computers. Uh, so let's just get into it. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is duplicating lines. So what do you mean by duplicating lines? It's just that I want to write this line again on, on the next line, so that's duplicating lines. So the way you can duplicate lines in VS Code really quickly with the snap of a finger is by using Shift, Option, Alt on the computer uh, with up or down arrow keys. So Alt on PC, by the way. So you're gonna use Shift, Option, and then up or down arrow keys to duplicate this line over and over again. It's a very interesting technique, it's very awesome, and you can do it very quickly. The next thing that I wanna talk about is moving moving the sentence or the, the, the line up or down. So I wanna move this line over here, right? So in order to do that, I can just write Alt or Option key, I can hold Alt or Option key, and I can just use my arrow keys to move it up or down. As you can see, it basically shifts the line at the bottom above it and the line at the top you know, below it. So it's the same thing. It's very awesome, it's very quick, and uh, it's very useful also. That is the second thing that I want to cover. Alt, shift key, uh, shift lines up or down using this immediate uh, you know, button trick. So the next thing is how do you write on multiple lines? So let me just uh, put this over here and I'm gonna show you. How do you write on multiple lines? So you use something like shift, option, command, so you press all of the three buttons and then you do up or down arrow key. So let me check, I'll just show you once. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate these lines and then I'm gonna put my cursor over here because I want to add something at the end of the exclamation mark for every single line. So what am I going to do? I'm going to press shift, option, command, and then I'm gonna use my arrow keys to basically generate this big cursor. So if I press my spacebar, if you can see everything moves because everything you're writing in multiple lines now so I can say hello world or you say hello Quinston or whatever you get that and then if you want to get out of it if you want to remove and get back to the single line cursor you can just press escape and you're back so that is uh, really awesome if you, if you ask me this is pretty crazy uh, the next thing that I want to talk about is how do you write on multiple lines with a mouse now what we did over here was we used uh, the arrow keys right we did not use the mouse, but you can also do the same thing with the mouse. Let me just duplicate these lines. What I'm gonna do is I can click here, then I can press shift and option, and I can press over here with my with my mouse, and look what happens. If consecutive lines get, get generated, and that's what that's what basically happens. So you can write on multiple lines uh, with the mouse or with the keyboard, it's the same thing, it doesn't matter. Um, and it's pretty awesome. Placing the cursor at multiple locations. Now you saw the, in the previous discussion, what happened was that we are placing the cursor in consecutive lines one after the other. But what if, what if you just had to place the cursor at locations that you wanted it to be instead of it being consecutive? Let's say all, every alternate line over here needs some kind of word, right? So I'll click. So what I'll do is I'll place my cursor initially here, then I'll hold the Alt key or the option key on Mac, and I will basically click wherever I want it to go. So I'm gonna click with the, with, by holding down the Alt or Option key, and I'm just gonna write now. See how easy that was? That was really, really easy, right? Yeah, so VS Code has these trips and tricks which really, really, really help your workflow. The next thing that I wanna talk about is how to select multiple or uh, similar words with cursor at multiple locations. What does that mean? So I'm gonna write something, I'm gonna write print, I'm gonna write something a little different, not the same thing, so why am I writing a cursor? So I'm gonna write hello dash uh, Quinston. I'm just gonna copy it over and over again. Now, the thing is, I wrote hello Quinston, but I want to write something, like, I wanna change the name. In usual cases, what you're gonna do is you're going to you know, do control F and do control R and all that, but it takes a lot of time because you have to go to a different window and so on and so forth. What you can do in this case is, you can just select the word that you want and you can press Command D or Control D and just select it. You see what happens? And you can even use these options to uh, illustrate further what kind of connection you wanna make. So that's just it, that's just really awesome, it's just really cool and it just works. How do you open the same file in the new tab? So the shortcut for this is Command and then I think that's a forward slash, oh it's a backward slash, sorry, it's a backward slash, 
and you just open it in a different tab. That is amazing if you look at it. It is so cool. Um, I So where do I use this? I use this in situations where let's say I have written like a variable at the bottom and then I have to see where the variable is declared. So instead of going up, scrolling up with my mouse, I usually just do command slash and then in here I go up and check where I've defined the variable. But it's amazing how this can work. Another way of doing the same is uh, by coming over here and clicking this button. Uh, it's a little slower with the mouse, but yeah, command, you know, command backward slash and it just works. Um, hiding the left sidebar. So this left sidebar, sometimes you just want to hide it. You don't like it sometimes, you just want to get rid of it. So you can do command B. It's very awesome. Command B, that's it. It just works. Uh, another thing that is go to function and variable definition in a new tab. Now uh, you might, so I'll give you an example of how this might work. So let's say you have a function, something like def, uh, hello, and then in this you have some, you know, print something like uh, hello world or something. And then here you're just calling it at the, you know, at the bottom, let's say it's in a, in a different location. So you're just saying, um, you know, hello, right? So if you save this and I do this, check this out, it goes to this definition, right? So when I just do, when I just use my command button and I hover over it and I click on it, my cursor immediately goes to that definition. But what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to open this function definition. Let's say this function definition is in a different file altogether. I want to open it in a different tab like we did over here, right? We want to open it in a different tab next to us. How do you do that? So what you do in that case is you use option plus command. So sorry, command plus option key and then click on the definition. So I do command and then option key and then click on the definition and check this out. Def hello just opens up in a diff different tab next to your current tab. And I just think this is crazy. This is so cool. This is amazing. The next thing that I want to talk about is let's say you want to close a single tab that you're on right now. So this is also very useful. So let's say you have this tab. You just press command W, command W, command W, command W. That's it. You just want to close the file. Just press command W or control W on a PC. And it is crazy how that works. It's amazing. Um, the next thing is, let's say you want to open a file by writing its name. You don't want to go through the file manager and check, okay, where is this file? I want to open it. You can just do something like command P and then write the name of the file. So I want to open a file called Fibonacci search. I just click on it. And it's open literally as simple as that command plus P write the name of the file and press enter or select it from the drop down, and you are absolutely done. Next amazing thing you can just if, if you have a error at a particular line, and you want to just go to that line, you can just do control G and type in the line number and and you'll just go there press press enter and you'll be there. Pretty amazing, pretty awesome, simple, awesome. The next most important thing is opening the terminal. So I don't use when I'm writing code in Vir uh, uh, Visual Studio Code, I do not ever go to my terminal, which is like the terminal on the Mac. I don't do that. I, I always use a terminal built into VS Code and the way you open it is Command J and there's your terminal. Isn't that amazing? I can do anything and it will just work. So uh, hide it again by Command J, Command J open. So these are the, uh, the few tips and tricks that I use with VS Code to make my code writing faster. I'm sure um, there are more ways to do it. I mean, I'm probably gonna get more experience and I'll make a part two of this when I do. Uh, but yeah, for now, thanks for watching guys. I will, you know, if you enjoyed this video, like, share and subscribe. I hope you check out my other videos. They're also pretty awesome. And um, I'll see you in the next video.